an attractive restaurant in Calabash near the South Carolina state line is appropriately named for an 18th century traveler's meeting place that was once located close by. In tonight's house special, Bob Garner takes us to visit the Boundary House. The Boundary House is a large, attractive restaurant owned and operated by the folks who own and operate the sprawling Callahan's Gift Shop complex in downtown Calabash. As is the case at the gift shop, the Boundary House has lots and lots of choices. There are a lot of ingredients in this famous Boundary House salad. You can sort of see what's going on there. And rather than me giving you a list to remember, let me tell you the one thing you do need to keep in your mind. Several people tell me you have got to eat this salad. Mm. Hot bacon, I'm just saying. And along with the hot bacon dressing, they've mixed in a honey mustard dressing too. I'm telling you, that's one awesome salad. Now, the secret to the sauteed scallop appetizer is starting with really dry scallops. Dip it in a little of this homemade remoulade sauce. Mm. Oyster stew is a very traditional North Carolina dish, but of course they've added their own special touches. Tasso ham and gorgonzola cheese are among those touches. Mm. The most traditional clam chowder in North Carolina is the clear broth base, which actually originated in Rhode Island, but Lots and lots of Tar Heels really like the New England style clam chowder as well, including me. Mmm. And boy, did they nail that at the Boundary House. Wow. I visited during a Sunday brunch and got to sample the delicious French toast. What do you get when you start with turkey, Swiss, and ham? You put it on sourdough bread, you dip the whole thing in a batter, and you fry it up nice and crispy and you put a little powdered sugar on it, well, that's called a Monte Cristo. This sandwich comes alive when you dip each bite in homemade raspberry jam. The featured cocktail for Sunday brunch is an extravagantly decorated Bloody Mary with a pepper rim on it. Ooh, that's spicy, zowie. Mm. New York strip Pittsburgh style, which means charred on the outside, but look at this, rare to medium rare on the inside. The original Pittsburgh Steelers, the steel workers used to get a hunk of meat from the butcher shop, throw it on a steel girder from a building skeleton where they had been welding, it was really hot, and they would get it charred on the outside really underdone on the inside. Look at this gorgeous flounder filet, lightly blackened, which involves a really, really hot pan, quite a bit of butter in that hot pan, and some spices. You can get flounder served a lot of ways at the Boundary House, including the traditional calabash style, but this uh, light blackening is sort of a compromise, not too much spice, but it keeps the moisture in the fish. Mm. Save room for the award-winning Best of Brunswick bread pudding made from croissants and sweet potato maple layered cheesecake. Cheesecake on the bottom, sweet potato cake on top, maple frosting atop the cake, wow. For North Carolina Weekend, I'm Bob Garner. The Boundary House Restaurant is at 1045 River Road in Calabash, and they're open for lunch and dinner every day except Monday. For more information, give them a call at 910-579-8888 or go online to BoundaryHouseRestaurant.com.